Hey viewers, welcome to another BRM video. Uh, here we have our 1980 T Miata, which I made a video on several months ago. I wasn't sure at that time what I was going to do with it, and I decided to get it into riding shape. We're not going to completely restore it because it's in very good shape. This was purchased from the original owner who bought it brand new in 1980. He rode it for about um, five years or so. He put it in storage at his mom's place and never rode it again and uh, pulled it out and I bought it from him uh, around 2013 so it sat in his mom's garage for like 28 years <laughs> and so it's in very good shape but uh, we're going to get this ready to ride so right now I also want to take this time to thank all my subscribers and the viewers and welcome some new viewers so I want to get this video out to you all to let you know I'm still around I haven't made a video in a little bit and I probably won't get to this one for a while because um, we are selling our house and getting ready to move. We haven't figured out where we're going to land yet so um, it'll be a while before I can get to this but just want to let you know that uh, it will be coming out. And what we'll be doing here to this uh, team Miata is get it in rideable condition. Uh, we will replace of course the tires, their uh, sew ups, we'll get those replaced and uh, new cables, cable housing. Uh, the uh, only thing that's not on the spike that was original are the um, brake lever hoods, of course. They usually rot, and these did. And of course, we're going to go ahead and strip it all down, uh, clean all the parts. I'm going to polish them by hand. I'm not going to put anything on the um, machine to polish it. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the rims uh, cleaned up polished up. These are the Aurea rims. And you can see it has Durace. And the frame is in excellent condition. No dents, no dings, and the paint is very good. The decals are also very good. Uh, there's just a little mark on one here, right there. And um, that's about it. So please stay tuned. We will get this uh, going, and we have a couple other bikes down the pipeline here. We have a David Tesh 101 that we'll be uh, building. We bought that um, from the frame and fork. We'll get that going after this one. And thanks again, everybody. We'll get this going soon. Thanks for watching.